Hey guys, it's so good to see you. Uh, it's time to do another YouTube video. I thought it would be really great to chat to Vincent again today. Vincent, how are you doing? You know what? I'm doing great. It's end of March, which is? Yeah, tax filing. Tax filing season. Exactly. And I know that I'm one of those people. I'm super organized with a capital O. But for those of you that are lastminute.com and not organized, I'm hoping that this video will be able to help you today. We also want to cover some other topics around financial wellness. What's on your mind? Andre, you know, it's such a big topic, but I think there are four things just quickly just to remind people. Mm. The first one is budget, to always just have that budget. You know, some people are very close to that budget to make sure that, like yeah. they know where they spend like every dollar. The second one is uh, a dashboard. Um, so to go to Wallstack and create that dashboard, making sure that you know yes. exactly where the goals are and, and where you guys are at the moment. Mm -hmm. The third thing is um, one that we always postpone is wills and power of attorneys. Yes. So I've actually just updated mine uh, just last week. So just make sure that um, you get that will in place, the power of attorney. Yeah. So it's three documents uh, per person. Yeah, uh, we did a video on that. So you can check in the description, check, out. check out the links. We did a video on wills and powers of attorney. And the last one is tax filing. You know, so that's what we want to talk about today. Yeah. If we don't get that right, all the other stuff is not going to help. No, absolutely. So let's talk about tax filing. I think the big thing for me is, can I do it online? Mm. If I'm doing tax for the first time, if you're an immigrant coming over to Canada, how does it work? If you're the first, first time filing, you have to do it paper-based. Okay, so wow. it doesn't really make sense to go one of the online tools. Either do it paper-based or go to one of the tax consultants. You can do it online if you want to thereafter. Yeah. Yeah. But I think it's uh, really for people that uh, whose tax filing is really simple, for them to do the online method. So oh, as soon as yeah. you have money uh, coming from offshore, offshore assets, mm -hmm. commission, high bonuses, then I think it becomes a little bit complicated. Mm -hmm. And you know what, to be honest, Andrew, I've never filed my own tax returns. I've yeah. always used someone. It's just a lot simpler, pay 100 or 200 bucks you know, for someone to do the tax yes. filing. And my view is always, they most likely gonna save you more money than uh, the two hundred dollar fee or one hundred dollar fee that you're going to yeah. pay for that. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. So I think I agree with you. I think it's hundred percent worth it. And also, they know the caveats. You're mm -hmm. right. They know the loopholes. Um, so I think there's huge benefit in that. Let's talk a little bit more in detail about the tax filing. The way it works in Canada is a calendar year is your end of, of your tax year. Yes. So uh, tax season opens on the first of March and closes at the end of April. Mm -hmm. So be sure that you do your your tax assessment before the end of April. That's right. If you're a business owner, that's extended till the middle of June, 15th of June. So if you're a business owner, you can do your personal tax filing uh, by then. Okay. Just a couple of things uh, which, um, which are really important um, in is that if you did your tax filing and you had to top up that tax return by $3,000, um, the CRA then kind of give you installments for the next year. Okay, so, so tell me about the $3,000. Is that your minimum? No, so I tell you, uh, we're an employee, you get your pay slips, you okay. paid your taxes through the year, mm -hmm. uh, but there's an assessment at the end of the year okay. and you had to make at least $3,000 extra payment okay. to the CRA. They will then kind of see that, okay, this is a, a client that they need to uh, not assess on a yeah. quarterly basis, but they give you installments for the next year okay. so that you have to make those installments uh, on a quarterly basis. So I think that's important. Yes. Um, the other one is obviously if you're a homeowner, there's some some taxes normally in all the provinces that you have to do tax uh, for that property and that's yes. always normally also quarterly that you have to pay. Mm -hmm. If you're a business owner, there's also quarterly installments that you have to put into your budget to pay for that. Another important one is that if uh, you're an immigrant and you still have at least $100,000 of investment offshore, then you have to make sure that you always disclose those assets to the CRA. Okay, yes. so it, it won't impact your your tax return necessarily because you will only be taxed on income and dividends on those portfolios yes. in Canada. Mm -hmm. But if you don't disclose it and you disclose it one day, they might see it as income yes. and pay income tax on those uh, amounts. So it's just really important that that uh, when you tax resident in Canada, obviously by default, mm. that you declare worldwide income. Absolutely. Uh, as opposed to just income in Canada. I remember when we landed, it was like, oh my gosh, we're immigrants. Mm. Are we gonna get taxed twice? How does it actually work? So we've got money still sitting in South Africa, or you might still have income in the first couple of mm. months when you land from whichever country you're from, you've got income still coming in from yes. that country. How does that work? So um, uh, the CRA sees you uh, as uh, tax resident in Canada, so worldwide income. So you That's have right. to declare your worldwide income. 
you need to look at the income that you you received in the in the country that you're from yeah and then obviously they give you mostly if there's a double tax agreement uh, mm. deduction on the tax that you've paid in that country mm. for for example if you if you moved from South Africa then you will declare to the CRA all income that you earned in that calendar year yeah um, in South Africa minus the tax you already paid in in South Africa and so uh, you get obviously credit for that if you now fall into a higher tax bracket in Canada you're going to pay a small top up uh, okay. in terms of that and potentially the same kind of thing if you're still a tax resident in the country that you came from and they do require you to do worldwide income you have to declare back into that country the income that you earn in Canada again so yeah, that makes I, sense. I know countries are different South Africa is also back on worldwide income now. So mm -hmm. if you're still a tax resident in South Africa, you also need to do tax filing in South Africa based on your worldwide okay. income in Canada. Mm -hmm. I think the UK is not worldwide income. It's I think it's only income that you earn in, in the UK, uh, in which case you only have to declare the stuff in, in the UK. Okay, so this stuff is what keeps you awake at night, I know. Vincent, what are we gonna do if somebody asks us a question about tax? Andrew, they can definitely uh, email us and, and we'll, we'll put them in touch with the right people. We're not tax consultants, but right. we have some really good people in the network. Mm -hmm. Either um, you know, Canadians that uh, help foreigners or help South Africans. Uh, we have people that help um, business owners with their uh, obviously tax filing and, mm -hmm. and management accounts and these kind of things. So yeah. we can definitely refer them um, and we'll make sure that we get them, we get them to the right people. Check out Wealthstack. Go organize your dashboard. Don't forget about your budget. And of course, the walls and powers of attorney, also very important. It's been so good chatting to you, Vincent. Thanks so much for your time. And I know this is never the last video. I'm sure we have a lot more content to cover. Thank you so much. Awesome. Sandra. Please give me a thumbs up to my YouTube channel, to this video. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so that you get updates as the videos upload.